It has happened again. Another shooting at Denver's most watched hotel, one of the shelters set up by the city for people who've been living on the streets. The latest shooting comes two weeks after two people were killed there and the city promised better security. Denver police say a woman was injured in a shooting inside a room at the old Doubletree off Quebec and I-70 shortly before midnight last night. Police have taken two people into custody. All of them live there. The mayor's office promised more security at that hotel after two people were shot and killed in a room there earlier this month. The city's adding unarmed guards and new medical metal detectors, promising to check in with each resident every week to see how they're doing. As next first reported here last night, the Salvation Army got $800,000 from the city for security at that hotel shelter that the Salvation Army operates. But they tell us they only used a little bit of that as they spent months researching security options. Our Kelly Rinke is along now with some answers about how the city is going to get this security money back now that taxpayers are paying for the city to provide security. Well, yes, so now that the city is going to be offering security, Salvation Army won't be using those funds anymore. So Denver is now looking to amend that contract to take that $800,000 back. Um, it does not appear that the city right now is looking to change any other agreements with the Salvation Army. Seven deaths have happened at the formal double tree this year alone, way more than other hotel sites in that district. Denver Denver's housing department says the Doubletree is a much larger facility, and its director pointed to the fact that the city gets thousands of calls every year for people staying outdoors. It is, you know, our belief that once we get people inside, they are safer. We have people in one location where we can really help provide them support. Yesterday, Salvation Army told us the deaths are a matter of putting problems it used to see at encampments across the city in one area. Councilwoman Chantel Lewis doesn't accept that explanation. Her district has four city-run shelters, while others have one or zero. For months, she's been worried about concentrating poverty in her district, and now she's concerned people aren't getting the resources they need. It's been an eight month battle of like patience and frustration and I am devastated and absolutely disappointed that it has taken the loss of life for people to be like, oh wait, maybe what Councilwoman Lewis was talking about is actually the right approach. Denver's Department of Housing Stability says uh, in addition to the security, they are working with Salvation Army to increase wraparound services at their sites. You understand what they're saying, right? When they say, well, we've concentrated these folks who are dealing with big life traumas in one spot, of course, there are going to be issues. But at the same time, I think people are shaken by the idea of week after week, there yep. being serious violence at this spot. And what Councilwoman Lewis was saying is uh, from someone who has experienced being unhoused, she says, you know, it's great that we're getting people housed, but we need to make sure that once they are there, once they have a room, that they get the services they need. She feels that we're seeing all of these incidents because that is not happening. Can't just warehouse people. You got to help people. All right, Kelly Rinke, thank you.